Well, West Pite White Potter 19 fans, this is Masasa, and hopefully you will see what three days of work are when I do this. The keel is down, and I'm going to be crawling under it, but I'm going to show you in one second why I was able to get the keel down and a buddy of mine told me when you're at the boat place make sure you talk to all the older gentlemen because they may have come up with a different plan than you and sure enough John who's lived down here since 1959 suggested a machete and it is think about it a giant scraper so I was going to go to Lowe's and buy a machete or go home and pick up mine and Jonathan here at Jonathan's uh, Honest John's fish camp said I got one and I said no no Jonathan I'm gonna break it and sure enough Jonathan brought me his old machete. I not only broke the handle, as you can see, the wood is gone. There's parts of pieces of the wood. I broke the tip off the machete. So I gotta go buy Jonathan a machete. But I wish I would have had it two days ago. So I'm gonna get under now so we can take a look at the keel and how bad it actually is an oh my does this make sense now look at this um, to give it some scale look at this rust at how thick it is I mean that is just outrageous is that crazy um, I, I know that the video is not doing it justice, but um, I mean, you can see my finger, hopefully, at how thick that rust is. And no wonder why I could not get the keel down. And this is the side that I used the machete on. And it actually did a pretty good job of cutting through it. What I didn't realize, however, is um, here, that'll show you the rust. Do you see that? How thick that is? Um, look at that. Oh, man, am I going to have a field day when I start grinding. Oh, but success. A sweet smell of success. Oh, man. And you can see I'm going to have a lot of grinding to do. Hopefully, that grinder will work well. Um, so... There you go, people. There you go. No wonder why it wouldn't go down. Alrighty, uh, stay tuned tomorrow. Grinding and a, some paint, uh, the primer. And uh, we're going to call it a day. Thank you.